Welcome to the vocabulary lesson for no failure. Let's begin. Our first word is feedback. Feedback. There is no failure. There is only feedback. Feedback just means um, information that comes to you after an action. Ooh, it's a bit of a long explanation. What does that mean? It means you do something, and then something happens, right? There's a reaction. There's a consequence. Well, that's what feedback is. Feedback is a consequence or reaction. For example, if I try to memorize 10,000 new words... I study a vocabulary book, and I do this for five days. I will get feedback. There will be results. So maybe uh, one month later, I forget all the words. Well, that, that information, that reaction, that result is feedback. It means it's something I can learn from. It's information that comes back to you, right? You do something, and then information comes back. A result comes back. A reaction comes back. Something happens. There's some kind of information after you do something, after you say something. We call that feedback. It's the information that comes back to you. It's how you learn. You learn from feedback. You do something... And then something happens. Maybe something good happens. Maybe something bad happens. Whatever happens, that result, that result is feedback. It's information that comes back to you, and then you can change what you're doing. If you like the feedback, if you like the result, well, keep doing it more. If you don't like it, then you try something else. All right. Our next phrase is to tack on. So in this article, he says, we tack on a label, right? It's not the event that's important. It's the label we tack on to it. So he's saying something happens, then we tack on the label failure or failing. To tack on means to put on, to put on something. So if you tack on a label, you tack on a name, it means you put the name onto the experience. Something happens, and then you decide this is a failure, right? You're putting the name onto it. You're tacking it on. So again, tack on means to put on something or to stick onto something. Our next word is process or processes processes. And a process is really, it's an event. It's something that happens. It's a series of actions. So it's not a one-time thing. It's something that happens over time, a process. So we talk about a learning process. It means the learning happens over time. It's not just suddenly it happens and it's gone. A process happens over time. It continues over some time. That's a process. Something that continues over time. Some action that continues over time. Process. A process. Our next word is to contrast. This can be a noun also, but we're using it as a verb. So he says, contrast two boys. So when you contrast something, you're contrasting two boys. To contrast two boys means to compare them. Compare them. Look at the differences. When you contrast, you're looking at the differences. You're comparing differences. So let's contrast these two shirts. It means we're looking at the two shirts. We're trying to find what's different. You're comparing and finding what's different. To contrast. To contrast. So we're looking at the two boys. We're looking, how are they different? We're comparing them to see how they are different. We're contrasting them. It says boy one and boy two. They're both learning how to ride bicycles. And they're both fumbling and falling down. To fumble means to 
drop something or to be clumsy. To be clumsy. So when you fumble, it means you drop something or you almost drop it. So if you're on a bike, it means you, you almost fall on the bike or you actually do fall on the bike. So again, fumbling has this idea of dropping, dropping something accidentally or almost dropping it. Maybe you're, oh my God, oh, right, I've got a pin in my hand and oh, it's going to fall, but it doesn't fall. I'm fumbling it. It's almost falling. Or even if it does fall, you can say, I fumbled it. It it fell out of my hands or it fell down. That's to fumble. Then later in the article, he says that boy one decides that he's failing. He says, I am a failure. And boy one just doesn't get it. To get it means to understand. So to get it, to get something, means to understand it. So you say, ah, I get it. It means, ah, I understand it. Or I don't get it. It's another common phrase. I don't get it. I don't get it. It means I don't understand it. I don't understand it. So to get it or to get something means to understand it. To understand something. And then we have another phrase, a little bit similar, but a different meaning. To get something out of it. So to get out of it, or to get anything out of it, or to get something out of it. It means an experience. So for example, you say, I didn't get anything out of that class. I did not get anything out of that class. To get something out of it means to get a benefit. To get a benefit. A learning experience or something else. So if you say, I didn't get anything out of the class, it means I didn't learn anything from the class. So again, to get something out of an experience means to learn something from the experience. Or you could say the opposite. I got a lot out of that class. I got a lot out of that class. It means I learned a lot from that class. So I got a lot out of it. I learned a lot from it. Same meaning. Our next phrase is to beat yourself up. To beat yourself up. And he says, Boy 2 develops his bicycle riding skill because he doesn't beat himself up. He doesn't label himself as a failure. To beat yourself up means to criticize yourself. Quite simple. means you say negative things about yourself. You criticize yourself. You beat yourself up. So if I beat myself up, I say, Oh, AJ, you're a failure. AJ, you're so stupid. AJ, you suck. You're a bad teacher. Right? I'm beating myself up. I'm saying bad things to myself. Beating myself up. So he's saying smart people do not beat themselves up. Smart people do not say bad things to themselves. They don't say, I'm a failure. They don't beat themselves up. They don't criticize themselves. All right, and finally, one more word, one more phrase, actually, cruising along. He says, sometimes in your life, things are cruising along. Parts of your life are cruising along. Cruising along means going well, going smoothly, happening easily. Doing very well. You say, oh, wow, my business is cruising along. It means my business is having no problems. It's moving forward with no problems. So cruising along, if something is cruising along, it means it's going steadily. It's moving forward and there are no problems. You can say, oh, my relationship 
with my girlfriend or wife or husband or boyfriend. You could say, my relationship is cruising along. It means there are no problems. Everything is fine. Everything's moving forward smoothly, steadily. So that's cruising along, to be cruising along. And that is the end of our vocabulary lesson for no failure. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.